So we've started to now build up quite a few queries or items within our queries pane. So we're now up to a total of five. So just wanted to take this opportunity to show you a way that you can organize all of these separate items, especially when you get to a point in having significantly more in there, uh, just to help when you're navigating through those queries. So what we're gonna do is use folders or more specifically referred to as groups, just to help organize these. So the first one we're going to do is go to File Path, so I'll select that, right click and go Move to Group. Now this is our first group, so you can see we only have the option to go New Group. And I'm simply going to call this Parameters. And you can probably guess what's going to, I'm going to suggest is as you now add more parameters to your Power Query editor, you can store them all within this section which keeps them all nicely grouped together. Similarly, Power BI Data. So this is obviously acting as a source for all of those other queries at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is right click and go to move to group. We could add it to parameters. So let's just try that for a test. So you can see it's just now moved to parameters. However, if you didn't want it in there and you wanted to move it somewhere else, all you need to do is click and drag to your desired folder and you can see it's easy to move as well. I'm gonna right click, move to group, new group, and this one I'm gonna call source files. And similarly to parameters, as you have more sources available uh, to you, you can store them all there so it's easier to navigate through. And lastly, we've got these three queries. You can see having uh, first or added our first um, uh, group, which was parameters, it grouped everything else into other queries, obviously keeping them more organized. But for me, what I want to do is I'm gonna hold down now shift and select the last one. So I've got them all selected and I'm gonna go move to group, new group, and we'll call this Power BI data simply because all of these queries are utilizing that Power BI data source. If you wanted to rename any of these or, or delete even for that matter, all you need to do is right click. You can then go down to rename. You could delete the group or if you were to select ungroup, what would happen is all of the items within that group would get put into other queries. So obviously just another way to move things around. And again, if you want to move the order of your folders, all you need to do is click and drag to your desired location in order to do so. So nice, short and hopefully helpful tip covered in this video, just to give you some best practices and ways to organize your queries. And again, as I always say, if you haven't done already, take the opportunity to have a play around just to familiarize yourself with that. Uh, because we're gradually gonna keep building on these queries, I'm sure uh, it just helps keep everything organized. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.